Hey guys, Charles Short Reviews here, and today we're going to be finally reviewing the Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Deluxe Class Black Arachnia. So, here she is in her spire mode, and yes, I know, I said finally because it took me quite some time to actually get myself to review this figure. See, uh, the majority of Wave 1, like, it was, or it was some of those coming, but not enough around my area, but... Right when it finally was, Wave 2 was already approaching, so I had to get as many reviews in, but by the time I was going to get to Black Arachnia, all the Wave 2 poured in, so I had to review all that to get that out of the way, because that's newer, so I'm like, well, I should probably get that done. But uh, after that, uh, I did some Wave 1 uh, reviews, did it, and then there was only one that I did not do, and that is, of course... Black Arachne is, so, yeah, apologize for a while, I'm not doing it, but, it was, there she is, better late than never, and it wasn't that late anyways, she came out at the beginning of the year, so, yeah, so she, here she is in her Spire, Black Widow Spire mode, and yeah, this is a pretty cool figure overall, like, I've been really wanting to review this figure, so, uh, it's a very, very well representation of the character, especially once we get into the robot mode. Anyways, let's take a look at the sculpt on here. The sculpt on this figure is probably one of the best, especially on like the black parts, like the legs and all that, and the face. That's a nice face. I got that there, and they got some nice details all over here. You got some red splotches, and then you got some detail even on the legs. So they went all in. On the bottom, not so much stuff here, but it's just kind of the arms. And you can see that's a folded in robot leg there, but he, yeah, overall, very, very nice and kind of clean. I mean, here you can see the shoulder joints, but not too bad. Uh, so for accessories, she comes with her um, flip gun thing. Oh, yeah, by the way, she did come with the card. I forgot which one it was, but I think I've taken a look at the card already. Take a look at every Wave 1 card that I own, so. Uh, yeah. But anyways, here it is, yeah. yeah it's just like the show. Now for, uh, you're supposed to, I believe, put it in here in these slots, and then these tabs go into there. Uh, and it's supposed to be positioned this way, where the the section, the back section, is facing where the face is. So you got to have it aligned here. But unfortunately, it the tabs don't stay in there, at least on mine. Uh, well, it kind of does, but... One of them sticks out, and I when I try to do it, hey, actually, hey, actually it's working. Well, that's good. That's a uh, kind of the opposite of what happens. Oh no, never mind. But I mean, it stayed on there for a bit. But because reviews, when you're filming, everything goes wrong, and then when you're not, everything's going right. So it's like, yeah. But uh, yeah, these that is supposed to happen, though it doesn't really stay in. Not well. I mean, if you don't touch it, then. It's fine. So that's what's kind of supposed to look like the swear mode, but either way, it kind of looks ridiculous with that on there. But yeah. so that's what's supposed to have. So yeah, that's the accessory with Black Arachnia. Now articulation, nothing in the head. Uh, yeah, as that, the legs, all of them can go. Well, if you hold all this here, they can all move for both sides. They so can have them all, and individually, they're all in ball joints. They so can have them positioned in any way you want. So that's very nice. And you should have them angled up, kind of like this. This is probably one of the harder ones to keep uh, in one piece here, because there's these things that kind of untab as you move them. Yeah. Well, anyways, we have not a lot of articulation, but still pretty nice. Yeah, see what I mean? It's, it's already untabbing. The destruction has begun. But really, there isn't that much else, and I think this got un it's a little bit pushed forward, or pushed in. Let me make sure it's a little more pushed out, but yeah, anyways. Yeah, nice, nice alt mode on this figure. It's probably one of the better of them, because it's not as kibbly or anything, or see as much robot parts. I mean, you'll still see it right there, but they did uh, blend in pretty well. So yeah, and now I just ruined the thing. <laughs> now it's all messed up. But yeah, that's that's probably 
uh, critique with this uh, mode in the figure, but eh, there we go. Well, I actually got it back. So, yeah, not much else to say. So, for comparison, uh, here she is with Rat Trap and Sheetor and Dinobot here. Let's get the Maximals in and Optimus Primal and Ares are. So, yeah, a little bit of a group shot there. Not the complete Maximal team yet, but hey. We're building it. Like Ragnar was a Maxwell later on, but that original one, but I guess you could count her in there, but I, I she's more probably gone for me. Uh and that whereas not about more of a Maxwell, because you know, of him being a re, you know, redeeming himself. So yeah, that's just in my opinion. But um but yeah, I can't wait for Tigertron to be revealed and then of course I can't wait to get my hands on Rhinox. I believe Wave 3 is already showing up, but I have not seen anything in Wave 3 yet around me, so... But when I see it, I'll pick it up and then I'll review it as soon as I can. Not as soon as I get it, but as soon as I can. Alright, and then... Here she is with her leader. Megatron, yes, yes. That's that's my tradition. <laughs> Having Every time I bring him in for comparison, he's got to say he's iconic line. There you have those comparisons. So now for transformation. So to begin, you just want to have all the legs together here. And then simply uh, remove the arms from the leg sections. And yep, there you go. Now I see the head. Uh, just want to. Then you want to pop them up the arms like this. You can raise them up a bit. And then. This wall silver around, and then you squeeze that, in, and then and then well, the arms will go out like this, and then squeeze that in. So it's all right coming together here. So, but anyways, now next, I just want to swirl these around here, and then undo the section, just untab it, and then uh, the rest section here will lower down. And then take out the head and swivel it around. And then after that, remove the legs and stretch them out like so. And then you do the same over here. And then after that, just want to kind of swivel this all this chest piece around and then kind of just have that sit in. And then the legs. Straighten out and then fold in the section to the back. And you just want to make sure it's all pressed in here so that way it's all nice and clean. And then after that, I think we got Black Arachnia in her robot mode. So, yeah, very, very cool overall. So, yeah, but anyways, let's take a look at the head sculpt. Yes, head sculpt. There we go. Definitely one of the best of Kingdom, I'd say, because that is very cartoon accurate. I cannot deny that at all. Like, it's, it's pretty accurate. More accurate than the... This is definitely improvement over the old Beast Wars toy of Black Arachnid, which was basically uh, Tarantulas, but it had Black Arachnid causes. What is that with a, a, a Takar exclusive? I'm not sure. There, there was a figure... Or she had her colors, but it was as uh, with the tarantula smoke. But either way, that's what she used, and that was definitely not like right now. This is right here. And so you got Predacon symbol, and then you got all this around here. The waist section, you got it kind of has like it looks like spider eyes. You got some nice gold and black stripes going on, and the feet here and the back, not much, but it is very clean. like it's the closest thing you got to a backpack, but it all folds in. So that's pretty good. That's actually it's probably one of the cleanest figures if you don't count the spider legs. But that's that's cartoon accurate, all right. Before you go say no, it's bunch of kibble. Well, it is, but it's accurate kibble. So no one usually minds with that, eh? So 
yeah, I say it right here, it's accurate. So, yeah, very, very cool. Now for articulation, or adds on the ball joint. So I can kind of also look down, you can, yeah, you can look down very far in this and then you can even kind of look up. But yeah, this is very nice. It's like a double, well, the head's on the ball joint, but then the neck is also on this little rocker joint here. So again, you know, wee, 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 wee. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, our arms can spread very far and can swell up full 20 degrees and then uh, bicep swivel and then the lower bicep I guess and then the elbow bends and no wrist rotation but I guess you can't have this maybe I don't know and then or wait no all right. uh, no waist unfortunately but her legs do kick out eh, not that far and then back my far and then they go out pretty far and the knees do bend very far and then the well knee section just got so move in different directions here that doesn't really count but you can also if you don't like seeing the joints there you can always have that there depending on what you prefer and then her feet do rock back and forth and uh, do the transformation and then they do actually pivot they do all almost all the way here so that's very very impressive on here oh and then the uh, yeah thigh sections also do rotate so yeah very very good articulation this is again Hasbro nailing again with their articulation on these figures lately compared to G1 we've gone a long way so very very good I gotta say there. So yeah, accessories. Again, she has this, and she yes, yeah, she can hold it, especially all the way back here. Just gotta make sure it's on there. And yep, she can hold it even though she doesn't have regular hands. She can also hold it. So you know, pew pew, bang bang. So yeah, very very cool. So yeah, there is that. So now. Uh, now for comparison, here she is with the Maximals here, so let's get a rat trap, Cheetor, yep, yep. <laughs> Cheetor is probably the hard ones to get standing, to get stand up, uh, Optimus Primal here, yeah. trying to like stand, will these people stand? Uh, Oh boy, uh, Air Razor and Dinobot. So, yeah, there we got the Maximals with a future Maximal, I guess. So, yeah. so there I have that there. And also, here she is with her first boss, uh, good old Megatron. Yes, if he's able to stand up straight. Stand up straight. Maybe. I don't know. But hey, there he is. Why is he leaning over? Alright, there we go. <laughs> so there you have that. If you're wondering why I always separate Megatron, well, A, he's too big, and B, also, he's a Predacon. I want to keep the Predacon separate. I want, and basically, him and Black Ragnar, I guess if you could count Dinobot, were, they were all, the, they're the only Predacons they made other than the fossilizers. Like the actual original ones, but they are doing Scorponok in the third wave, and then fourth wave is Waspinator that was recently leaked. So, yeah, and there could be more, but I, I forgot. Uh, if you guys remember, just let me know. But yeah, there you have the comparisons. So, there you guys have my review of the Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Deluxe Class Black Arachnia. And yeah, she's definitely one of the best, or uh, pretty good figure in the line. <laughs> Why did I say one of the best ones? I thought she's a very good one, but uh, yeah, very good figure in the line, uh, nonetheless. And yeah, I recommend if she's still around, she probably still is. Because uh, hey, it's a wave one figure, it's still probably going to be around for a while. So, but uh, yeah, very good figure all around. Uh, critiques, well, I guess uh, the Spider Man. 
If you mess around with that too much, it'll kind of undo itself. So just be careful with that. But other than that, the robot mode's pretty good, and the look of the spider mode's also very good too. And transformation's pretty simple as well, so that's also nice. So yeah, there you have that. So anyways, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, and share for more. That will help my channel grow. If not, then, uh, uh ew. <laughs> but, uh, not just kidding. But subscribe, uh, if you want, and then make sure to leave a like and comment. And then, uh, comment down below what also would you guys think of the figure. Do you think she is good or not? So let me know down below. And again, till all are one.